Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another counter side video. Alright, one of the most requested things that I get to ask is regarding PvP. Alright, a lot of you guys have been wanting me to make more PvP videos. Uh, hopefully to guide some of you guys who are still struggling to play PvP. Alright, so uh, one of the most key characters in my opinion that you should consider building if you really want to play PvP much more seriously is going to be Ingrid. So I think she is a very solid unit overall. Alright, so being a R unit, I think she's accessible to almost everyone and you don't need her to be level 110 to be viable. She is good regardless at level 100 if you skill her up enough ETC, right? So with that being said, let's jump into it. We're going to talk about Ingrid generally, show you guys some of the showcase and how you want to play PvP with her generally. Alright, so before we move on with the video, let's have a look at Ingrid's uh, gears. I think a lot of you guys like to ask me, hey, what gears you use for your Ingrid? Alright, so evasion, anti-ranger, that's why I'm running on her. If you don't have anything else, just use whatever you have. So evasion is good on her generally because she has pretty high base evasion as well. So further increasing that is not too bad. You want to go full evasion, you can go full evasion. You can go HP with her. You can go anti-sniper if you want, but I prefer anti-ranger. So I have plenty of anti-rangers laying around. So this is my particular gear that I'm using on my Ingrid for the time being. Alright, let's jump into a match uh, right here. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the face cam so we don't block any uh, important things. I'm going to explain along the side with what I'm doing right here. This is a replay battle. So my choices, so enemy starts off with Cindy. So obviously, now this is something that you want to do ideally, right? You want to start off with your defenders first or depending on who you have as leader. Alright, when you play PvP, there's a reason why you put them as leader. When they are leader, they will be the first four characters that you appear right here. If they are not, uh, there's sometimes that they won't appear in the first four and sometimes they will be all the way at the back so you need to cycle through your units to get them. So leader should always, in my opinion, uh, there's various strats, right? Either someone that associates your character with the operator, depending whether your operator activation needs something, some character first. Uh, like right now I'm using Kim Hana and I actually needs a ranger and a supporter, right? But ranger and supporter, because I have two rangers and two supporters in my team, I don't really need uh, like one ranger or supporter as the leader per se. My Awakened Hilde is the leader because it makes the most sense. I'll be able to deploy her more often that way, right? Every time she dies, uh, instead of deploying like a six cost unit, I'm just deploying a five cost unit because she's a leader. So hopefully that explains the perspective right here. So putting a, a defender or a striker first, you want them to tank your battle. Now in this case, enemy went with Cindy and when we uh, awaken Hilde afterwards, I'm not sure why two, you know, two frontliners at the beginning, and then there's a Karin Wong right here. All right, so I went with Sylvia at the back. So Karin Wong, Sylvia, enemy went with Claudia immediately. The awaken Hilde's HP is not that low. Okay, uh, enemy deployed an Ingrid, and at the same time, there's a Kamizumi ultimate at the same time. So hopefully you guys notice that. So Kamizumi ultimate and enemy deploys an Ingrid. I'm not sure if the Ingrid did any damage or was it just the Kamizumi ultimate. But either way, that's the that's the purpose of Ingrid. It's just to hopefully take care of enemy's backliners. Combine with the ship skill, hopefully to kill at least sniper or rangers because they are generally squishier. Alright, Yang Harim is still alive as you can see. So right now I deploy my Shiyun to kill Karin Wong, right? So my Shiyun, Shiyun and Ingrid, they are both very similar. They have very similar purpose and function. You deploy them to kill the backline, right? So the idea here is you want to deploy them to kill the enemy supporter or the ranger or the sniper. So that's where you can take advantage of this. You can, they can be deployed anywhere on the map. Now, of course, you have to play your PvP manually, not playing it on auto. If you play it on auto, you they won't be deployed right here at the back of the ship. They will be deployed always in the 
uh, you know, from the ship, move forward. And in that case, you're doing it wrong. You shouldn't use Shiyun and Ingrid in auto, like, which is why it makes them a little bit uh, weak in PvE as well. Uh, there are some PvE where you need to manual as well, but ideally in most PvE, I understand that people, players would prefer to auto, but to get the full use out of characters like this, they have forward deployment, that means they can be deployed anywhere. The idea here is, you know, you want to be able to put them anywhere. So let's watch on as time goes. So right now, Ingrid makes a lot of sense here. So there's a Tedious Morgan, right? We managed to do some damage. Enemy when we Gayun. And then my uh, Stella ultimate is still going on. All right. So the Gayun might be a problem depending. Harin Wong is back, if you guys can see. Tedious Morgan went on and did a bunch of damage to the enemy backline as well. So now we are you know, we have the activation skill. Ingrid is there as well to help with things. So I deploy Ingrid afterwards. Uh, she get pushed forward, but it's okay. Tedious Morgan is doing as much damage as we can. And at this point, it's pretty GG. Alright, so I didn't really showcase Ingrid properly right there. It's more of Shiyun in my opinion. So let's jump to a different battle. Hopefully give you guys a different perspective. Alright, so next battle, now you can see enemy starts off with Awaken, Hilde, and this time enemy has an Enterprise ship. So Enterprise is Band 1. Uh, if you guys are not aware, Band 1 means they have lesser HP. Uh, that's uh, quite a big difference depending on how you look at it. Stella still have less HP overall if you're counting the total HP, but it's just a 10% uh, decrease. So right here, there's an admin, uh, sorry, not admin, assault trooper. It makes sense. Rangers to deploy to help kill my Awakened Heal Day faster. If you guys are not aware, Rangers does more damage to defenders. Hopefully, you guys know that by now. So I went with Tedious Morgan. Hopefully, in that case, we try to take care of a couple of Rangers. Notice Tedious Morgan. If you guys are not familiar yet, this guy's ability is to always hit the back line. He has a special skill that targets enemies' back line first. And then I deploy Ingrid afterwards. So when in, right now, perfect. Uh, Ingrid can take care of Assault Trooper and Claudia because uh, Rangers, again, deals less damage to Striker. Ingrid being a Striker. Notice I also activate my ship skill as well to try to kill them faster. Now, if I win this, uh, it's a good trade for me because Claudia is a 3 cost. Uh, assault Troopers are 2 cost. So my Ingrid 2 cost taking care of 5 cost in total is generally how you want to like target the enemy. So now they deploy a Twins to get uh, to distract my Ingrid and again this is a win for me because if enemies are forced to deploy something to take care of Ingrid so that's like just now it was 5 cost now it's like 7 cost they wasted 7 cost to take care of a 2 cost so at the end of the day you know I think that's worth it for me it did take care of the trade for me so I was able to deploy uh, now they get if you notice enemy went with Ingrid as well right and it did take care of my Sylvia but I think it's a bit too late the thing with Sylvia is Sylvia is very squishy. She's meant to die. But the purpose of using Sylvia is not for her to stay there extremely long like Xiaolin. Uh, Sylvia, I think that her impact is mostly just to use the stun ball. If you have maxed that, that stun ball, it will counter every single uh, unit. Either counter soldiers or max, it doesn't matter. It will stun them if you max that skill. So which is why I have my Sylvia at. She's dead, but it's okay. Uh, Ingrid at that point is going to die as well. So enemy went with Sylvia as well. So notice this, Enterprise pushback and Sylvia. In my opinion, this is a very bad play. You don't activate Enterprise pushback alongside with Sylvia stun because it's like 2cc. Here's the thing, right? I think this is a mistake that new players make. Whenever you have 2cc, you don't overlap them. If you have two characters with stun and you have two characters uh, with, with pushback, you try to time them so that your character's stun gets the most out of his value. So in this case, Enterprise pushed my characters back. That's like a hit stun sort of way. And then there's a stun as well coming. So I think that's like overlapping the stun to make it shorter duration. Like if, does it make sense? So you can see the stun is coming alongside with the Enterprise, which does hit stun my characters, which does push them back. Why not don't overlap it, use it separately so that you get like the total of maybe six seconds duration, I think. Uh, Enterprise pushback plus Sylvia stun total, right? So instead of this, you are overlapping both of it. And I think that's a waste. So right now, uh, Ingrid will be perfect for this, right? But I don't have Ingrid yet, we gotta wait. So Tedious Morgan went to the front. So I think Ingrid is gonna do quite a lot. If I can deploy Ingrid right there, there we go again. 
Again, they stun my unit at the back, but it's okay. Uh, Ingrid died right there because there's too many units at that point. But I do have a ship skill from Enterprise, right? So Thaddeus Morgan is, you know, Ingrid doesn't have to kill everyone there. If she weakens them enough for Thaddeus Morgan to finish them off, remember that Thaddeus Morgan uh, does more bonus damage to uh, characters with lesser HP. So in that case, Xiaoling got stunned as well. So I think at this point, getting rid of so much of the enemy's unit. Um, yeah, I think we already won this fight as long as you have more characters. Now this is a bit confusing. I saw an Ingrid and somehow my Hilde was pushing the other way, right? Xiaolin died there as well. So now Hilde is on my ship. I don't know what happened. Uh, usually it's the Hilde's, Awakened Hilde's knockback that can cause this to happen. So I have a Shiyun hitting enemy ship and in this case, Shiyun is going to stun, um, right? So we got the stun off. Enemy Gayun is deployed there to take care of my Shiyun. So this is a, kind of a weird one. So now you can see enemy has Awakened Hilde. So I just put Tedious Morgan. And I have Asterosa and Awakened Hilde. At this point, you gotta decide. Do you defend or do you just move forward? So I decide to just move forward, all right? It makes sense to just move forward because I have Asterosa. If Awakened Hilde, she doesn't do damage to the ship, but Asterosa, she does a lot of damage to the ship. You know, you gotta know your characters and how much damage they can do. So I just let my other characters distract whoever that's there and I just displot. Just hopefully these two characters will be able to take care of the, you know, the back line of the ship, boom. And in that case, we won. So yeah, hopefully this explains a little better on how ideally you want to play PvP. It's all about, there's a bit of de decision making as well. And sometimes you might not be able to think that fast, which is fine if you're still new, right? But I think over time, as you play more matches, you will be able to get more experience overall and you'll, you'll know what to do instantly. Like it will just come to your brain in like a single click. And you can see Thaddeus Morgan, that is a lot of damage from Thaddeus Morgan. So again, uh, these are the characters that I'm using, right? So the reason why I'm using them is simple because I do not have anyone else. Don't worry too much about the meta that much. I think understanding PvP is going to be much more important than the tier list. I've beaten a lot of players with like full meta SSR. Alright, so with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. As always, if you enjoyed this video and you want me to make more PvP specific videos, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.